Okay guys, I um, know you guys have been waiting for this series of VHS collections for a while, but we're now going to do the 20th Century Fox VHS Collection 2016 edition. Which as you can see, I don't really have a lot, but I have a pretty good amount, so let's get this going. First one is the 2002 VHS of Ice Age. And this is a fun movie everybody knows about, I'm sure. Includes an all new animated short scratch missing adventure. Absolutely hilarious says Bill Zwecker, Chicago Sun Times. Two thumbs up says Ebert and Roper. A pure delight says New York Daily News. Read PG for Mild Peril and it's 81 minutes. I remember seeing this in theaters when it came out. There's the tape of the ink label. And I don't know if you can see it, but this is printed on June 9th, 2002. And Ice Age, uh, this is a really fun movie. Recommend it if you haven't seen it. Next is the 1997 VHS of Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is a 1996 Christmas film. Nonstop Fun says The Kids Network. Here's the spine. And the back. Turbo Pack with lots of laughs for the entire family. You'll love this film, says Elaine Blythe of Film Advisory Board. The best holiday film in year, family film in years, says Don Stodder of Entertainment Time Out. This also has Sinbad, the late Phil Hartman, Rita Wilson, Robert Conrad, Jim Belushi, and Jake Lloyd. Rated PG, and it's 85 minutes. And sticker label, and it was printed on the 37th week of 1997. And I also had the, this film on DVD in which it has uh, some extended footage, but you don't get much with that. But this is a fun Christmas movie. And next is the 1996 VHS of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie based off the TV show. Which... Um, I used to play the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers video game for my Sega Genesis that I had back in the day, but I don't have it anymore. I got rid of it years ago. Stars Karen Ashley, Johnny Young Bosch, Steve Cardenas, Jason David Frank, Amy Jo Johnson, David Yost, Jason Narvey, Paul Schreer, and Paul Freeman. Rated PG and it's 101 minutes. You ooze, you lose. This is a reprint because it has a newer ink label on there. And it was, per and it was printed on January 18th, 2002. And yeah, this movie's pretty cool. I feel like uh, the Power Rangers. Now on to the slip covers. First up is... The 1995 VHS of Big, part of the 20th Century Fox Selections series. This is a 1988 film with Tom Hanks. Big is hilarious as David Anson of Newsweek. Also stars Elizabeth Perkins, Robert Loggia, John Hurd, and Jared Rushton. Rated PG and... 104 minutes and there's the sticker label and it was printed on the 46th week of 1995 and sorry about that banging upstairs uh, my sisters are going crazy up there but but this is a pretty cool movie and next is the 2002 VHS of Big Mama's House with Martin Lawrence. Spleen Bursingly Funny says Mike Sidoni of ABC TV. Co-produced with Regency Enterprises. Outrageous says Bob Graham of San Francisco Chronicle. And this also stars Nia Long, Paul Giamatti, Terrence ha and Terrence Howard. 
includes bloopers behind and has bloopers behind the scenes footage, star interviews, and little Bow Wow music video. Rated PG-13 and it's 98 minutes. Here's the tape with the ink label. And don't see a print date or a week and year code, so oh well. But uh, Big Mama's House, this is a fun movie. Highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. I agree with the uh, film critique on the front, spleen burstingly funny. And next is one that I, the next two are ones I got recently. This is the 1989 VHS of Die Hard with Bruce Willis, 40 Stories of Sheer Adventure. This is a 1988 action film that everybody is familiar with, I'm sure. Thrilling. For sheer roller coaster thrills, the pick up of the pick of the crop is Die Hard, says David Anson of Newsweek. Heart stopping. This action film is different. Willis is a real guy, not a comic book hero. He's terrific. Die Hard is dynamite, says Joel Siegel, Good Morning America. Edge of your seat, you'll have a whale of a time, says Mike McGrady of Newsday. Also stars Alan Rickman, Alexander Godunov, Bonnie Bedelia, and a few others. Rated R, and it's 132 minutes. Here's the sticker label, and there is no print date or week and year code, but there you go. Next is the 1991 VHS of the sequel, Die Hard 2, Die Harder, also with Bruce Willis. It's the best of the blockbusters, says Joe Siegel, Good Morning America. This is a 1990 film, and... Also stars Bonnie Bedelia, William Atherton, Reginald Vell Johnson, Franco Nero, William Sadler, and John Amos. Rated R, and it's 124 minutes. This is a former blockbuster rental. There's the sticker label. And it was printed on the seventh week of 1991. Next is the 1998 VHS of Dr. Doolittle with Eddie Murphy. This is a remake of the 1967 film, which I don't have yet. The funniest movie of the year, says NBC TV. Wildly entertaining, says Gannett Newspapers. He just had gas. Whoa, you're telling me. Also stars Aussie Davis and Oliver Platt, and also features the voice talents of Chris Rock, John Leguizamo, Norm Macdonald, Albert Brooks, Gary Shandling, and Ellen DeGeneres. Rated PG-13, and it's 85 minutes. Here's the tape of the sticker label. It's upside down, but it was printed on the 41st week of 1998. Yep, pretty funny movie. Now the next two are in uh, plastic rental cases right here. You have uh, Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest, 1992 VHS, and it's also a 1992 film. It's an animated film. Rated G, and it's 76 minutes. This has the 1991 Fox Video logo, as well as a trailer for Home Alone 2 Lost in New York, which is the... The rare one with the Statue of Liberty. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's on YouTube. Then the 20th Century Fox logo. Then the FAI Films logo. Then the film. Burn Gully Last Rainforest. Is a pretty good animated classic there. And next is another one that's in a plastic rental case. And it's the 2000 VHS of Fight Club. It's a 1999 film, I think. Yeah, 1999. Co-produced with the Regency Enterprises, rated R, and it's 139 minutes. This is printed on the 13th week of 2000. Tape back in. And as for Fern Gully, Last Rainforest, um, it was printed on the 31st week of 1992.
Uh, next you have the 1993 VHS of The Good Son with Macaulay Culkin. An Edge of the Seat thriller says Bobby Wygant of KXAS TV NBC. Evil has many faces. Also stars Elijah Wood. This is a 1993 thriller. Macaulay Culkin is chillingly good at being evil in this haunting thriller, says Gene Wolfe of Gene Wolfe's Hollywood. Also stars Elijah Wood, Wendy Crewson, David Morse, Jacqueline Brooks, Ashley Crow, and a few others. Quinn Culkin's also in this movie, but she passed away a few years ago. May she rest in peace. Rated R, and it's 88 minutes. I know the Nostalgia Critic reviewed this. Here's the sticker label. And it was printed on the fifth week of 1994. Now, a lot of out of all the m movies with Macaulay Culkin in it, um, I heard that this one was the worst reviewed. But I still, but I still like it. It's pretty good. It's directed by the same director who directed Sleeping with the Enemy, Joseph Rubin. But next up is a Macaulay Culkin film that everybody's familiar with and loves, I'm sure. Home Alone from John Hughes, the late great John Hughes, a family comedy without the family. And this is the 1997 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment print. When Kevin's family left for vacation, they forgot one minor detail. Kevin. And also stars Joe Pesci, Daniel Stern, John Hurd, Catherine O'Hara. And John Candy, the late great John Candy, who uh, 20 year, 22 years ago today uh, passed away in 1994, so may he rest in peace. Uh, rated PG, and it's 105 minutes. This is a 1990 Christmas comedy. There's the sticker label, and it was printed on the 36th week of 1999. But this has uh, the... Um, a promo for the Wallace and Gromit video collection, as well as a trailer for Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. The one with the sing-along. And, ugh, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, two more tapes and then we'll stop. Next is the 1993 VHS of the sequel, Home Alone 2 Lost in New York, which is 1992. And America's smallest hero takes a giant bite out of the Big Apple, and it's also star. And this has the same stars in there. Also has Tim Curry, Brent, and Brenda Fricker, as well as Eddie Bracken and Rob Schneider. Rated PG, and it's 120 minutes. This has um, promos for. Uh, the Home Alone Christmas soundtrack, as well as uh, American Airlines and Life Serial. This is printed on the 21st week of 1993. And I actually like this sequel better than the original, but the original Home Alone will always remain a classic, no matter what. Last tape I'm going to show is the third film in the Home Alone series, Home Alone 3, 1997 film, then a 1998 VHS. Better than the first two, said Roger Ebert, Chicago Sun-Times. Better than the first two, my ass. And as you can see, the slip cover is not in the greatest of condition, but tape still plays good. Big Laughs, a real kid pleaser, says Jill Siegel, Good Morning America. Stars Alex D. Lenz and Haviland Morris. Scarlett Johansson's also in this movie, rated PG, and it's 102 minutes. And there's the Vertical Dark sticker label, which means this is a reprint from May 7th, 2002. Get this tape back in. There we go. And this isn't as good as the first two Home Alone movies, but this is still a pretty decent film uh, on its own. And that's going to do it for part one of my 20th Century Fox VHS Collection 2016 edition, but I'll be back in which I have eight tapes left to show, so stay tuned for that.